that, like that was just a big clump. So this is what you don't want on your hair. <coughs> so I am back with another video and this video is just gonna be kind of like informative and like little tips that like no one has ever told you before. So if you're interested, then stay tuned. But first, before I start the video, I do wanna say thank you guys for um, showing love on my Jasmine Brown. I said it in my last video, but that video has just been getting like so many views, so much traffic. And also my, my birthday is this Sunday. So if you guys aren't following me on Instagram, I will have it in the description box below. So you guys can go follow me. I'm turning 22. So yes. Okay, so my hair has been growing really fast and it's been growing really long. And so I've just been getting a lot of questions. So the first thing that I'm gonna talk about is like sulfates and silicones and parabens. So if you're a curly girl, most people know, you shouldn't put sulfates, silicones, parabens, and like alcohol into your hair because it'll like dry it out. But there's like exceptions to every rule. So um, one person pointed out on my um, Jasmine Brown tutorial that I was using the Garnier Fructis and it has a silicone. That is true. So like, here's what I'm saying. I've used that product since literally my very first video that I uploaded, I've been using that product. So like my hair is still healthy and it's still growing. And if you look at back at my first video, my hair is way longer than it was in that video. So it's like some products, you just have to know what works for your hair. Like coconut oil does not work for my hair. So I'm not gonna use coconut oil. And like sulfates, I don't like using sulfates because those do dry out my hair. And that's what comes with the shampoos. So. For me, I know I can't shampoo my hair a lot, but for you, if your hair is okay with a lot of shampoo and a lot of sulfates, then do it. If you see that your hair isn't liking something, don't do it. If your hair is liking it, it's retaining the moisture, keep doing it. Okay, so the next thing that kind of goes with the other one is mixing conditioners with other products. Um, so some conditioners and some like gels do not mix. So I'm gonna show you on my hand products that work together and products that don't work together. I'm going to take my Garnier Fructis. And my Blueberry Bliss. Okay, so this one works and these two are pretty cheap. Now I'm gonna do one to where you guys can see like two things that don't work together. So I'm gonna take my Garnier Fructis. Archangel gel. Okay, so I don't know if you guys can see this, but it's really clumpy and it's not smooth at all and it's just like getting stuck like that and this is exactly how it's gonna look on your hair it's happened to me before and the, like that was just a big clump so this is what you don't want on your hair so basically you just want to find products that will go on your hair smoothly and you just want to make sure that the products that you're putting on your hair are actually being absorbed. Otherwise, it's literally just a waste of your money, a waste of your time, and it's not doing anything for your hair. So the third thing, which should probably be number one, is research your hair. Learn your hair type. I have a little bit of every hair type, not every, every one of the threes. I have like 3A, 3B, and 3C, definitely. Um, let's see, here's a little 3A. The majority of my hair is 3B. Yeah, like the majority of my curls are 3B and then I have some tight, tight curls that are like 3C. Once you learn your hair type, you need to know its porosity and that means like, you need to know if you have high or low and that will tell you what products to put in your hair. There's actually a test that you can take. You're just going to pull out a hair strand you're going to take the strand 
and put it in some water. When you put your strand of hair in the water, after like two minutes or whatever, if it's floating, that means you have a low porosity. And that means that your hair basically does not accept moisture in. That's like my hair. So like certain products will not penetrate and they will not get into your hair. You have to find the right products that work for your hair. So if your hair is like in the middle of the water, like the strand is in the middle, that means your hair is like normal. And if it's at the bottom of the water, that means your hair has like a high porosity. And that means like after like an hour you put the product in your hair, your hair is like dry again. Like your hair loses moisture really fast. So you want to take that test and you basically want to see what your hair type is. Because if you don't know what your hair type is and you're just putting any product in your hair, your hair is going to feel hard or your hair isn't even going to get any moisture. So you really just need to know what your hair type is and then go from there. So the last and probably most important thing is to take care of your hair from the inside out so i know probably a lot of people say this but just drink some water like literally as much water as you can drink like drink it i mean don't like don't go overboard just drink your water and you will see that your hair is shinier and healthier and just growing longer and longer and longer so yeah guys that's all i have for this video i hope you guys liked it don't forget my birthday is this sunday so if you're an Aries, comment down below. And make sure you guys are subscribed if you're not already. And make sure to share this video and like it. And I'll see you guys in my next video.